When I first saw the installations come to life, I was absolutely blown away. And I was so proud to have been given the opportunity to work with Jack, Elizabeth, a blank canvas, illuminate, to be able to bring light creatures to life. I'm Joe Blank, and I'm the creative director at A Blank Canvas in Melbourne. A Blank Canvas is a company that specialises in unique art installations. Light Creatures was a four-part installation for the Adelaide Zoo for Illuminate Adelaide. We wanted to use the opportunity to bring the zoo to life at night, to connect people to nature and you know, shine a light on what we were doing here at the zoo in terms of our conservation efforts and our projects. My name is Elizabeth Close. I'm a Pitindata and Yankundata woman and I'm a contemporary Aboriginal visual artist and muralist based in on Ghana country. Over the past sort of 14 years, I've, I've crafted a very sort of dynamic and vibrant arts practice that sort of centres around and is underpinned by relationships with country. So this uh, story, it's a story of the creation of woman, also the creation of the multiple worlds. Jack Buckskin is a Ghana and Narunga man that we work with really closely. There was a really great story he would be able to share with us about the skink and the significance of the skink in Ghana culture. And man lived on this country, but he couldn't survive and he couldn't sustain and maintain his life. So the creator ancestor, Daryl Daryl, who's now the skink today, cut the man in half using its tail. That half then became his wife. Jack and I worked alongside one another to kind of, to create an artwork that reflected his narrative. And it very much was a story around dualities. The sort of delineation, I suppose, in roles for men and women in, in Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander language groups. That bold white line that sort of meanders sort of across the, the skink's body that sort of sits between its eyes, you know, very much sort of masculine, feminine, uh, is, is I, I guess, central to the narrative. My process when designing something, I would model up a virtual skink and then using Elizabeth's artwork, I can literally wrap it uh, in, in my three-dimensional object um, virtually. As soon as I put it on the, the model, it, you could just see how amazing it would look uh, on you know one to one scale at 27 meters long. Trusting, I guess, another artist who is hundreds of kilometers away to, to be able to translate this design concept took an immense amount of, I guess, trust and communication between sort of Joe and I. Due to COVID, uh, we were never able to meet in person. Uh, so we did all our meetings on, online, you know, past artwork back and forth and ideas back and forth uh, via email. Obviously we had lots of conversations about, you know, working at scale and, and how we were going to make sure that the artwork still re retained the detail and the texture that was true to the narrative. Seeing her artwork and, and knowing we could recreate this work add so many textures and layers to it and like splattering paint and dry brushing and adding all these kind of layers and textures is, is what I love. And I could see how amazing that would light as well. People need people to live. They make each other survive and each other thrive. I was actually genuinely taken aback at how people engaged with it. People absolutely loved the skink. I was getting, like for the entire month of Illuminate, you know, my, my Instagram's going off with people tagging me in it because they absolutely loved it and their kids loved it. You know, storytelling is so important to Aboriginal people and so I wanted people to stop and listen and, and that's exactly what they did. So now we have a distinct world between man's world and woman's world and it's our duty to acknowledge both worlds when engaging and working with Aboriginal people.